Hey guys, Fat Man Dolly. I'm down in the basement. My wife just told me I got a package. I got a package from Nick Carlin. So, let's get into her. We'll break out the first knife I grabbed. Open L number 8. This is one I use for fitting sheets. I make a little pocket sheet for them. Thinking about putting a pocket clip on them, but anyway, that's neither here nor there right now. The ends are open. Don't know what's in here. But we'll find out in a minute. Oh my. I had talked to Nick about making a sheath for one of his knives and told him I don't usually charge folks on YouTube just uh, send me something trade something so this is what he sent me he had to send me the knife so that I could uh, do that I'm thinking this is a note don't know what's in there yet but we'll check it out So what it is, is he had a spoon knife that he wanted a sheath for. Just a sheath that he can put in his pack to protect the knife. Uh, hope you're doing well Spring and spring weather is in the air. I want to thank you, on, thank you for taking on this little project. This is a very little project, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, it is something I haven't done yet, so it will be a first, but it's not a problem. Um, I didn't tell him anything that I wanted, so he kind of guessed. Uh, it's a spoon spoon knife, a Mora spoon knife that he needs a uh, sheath for. So, um, I'd be free to make it however I want to. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Hey Nick, thanks a lot. Um, you certainly didn't have to, you know, go out of your way. I hope you didn't. This Canadian newspaper, so I can read the newspaper. The sports section. I'll have to take a look at that. Not a big sports guy, but Canadian sports might be kind of cool. We have some coins. This is too much, brother. Uh, you know, as I collect coins and stuff too, so. Eighteen ninety six Canadian cent. I don't. It's in a flip here. I don't know how well it's gonna. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Focus. I don't know. I'll have to look when I get it on the computer. I can't see much here. That was the reverse. This is the obverse. Very cool, man. Very cool. Slide that back in there. This is way too much, Nick. Already, it's too much. Canadian 50 cent piece. Got the queen. And I'm not sure what that is on the back. Looks like a coat of arms. Very cool. Very, very cool. That's from 2000. Not that years make a lot of difference. That is going to go in my Canadian collection big time. I'm going to have to do a whole video on these coins because this is a whole roll and as I it's split open but as I'm looking at it 
They're not all nickels, that's for darn sure. And if they are, they're all different. So we're going to just do a video on some of these coins here. Oh my god, there's more in here. And a spare flip. Awesome. Oh. Nick, I think you went a little too far. I might have to go a little too far on that sheath, too. 1928 Indian Head Nickel. Awesome. So awesome. And a 1937 Indian Head. Coolness. That is too cool. Oh my god. 1881 Indian Head Penny. Yep. You're going to get a whole video on all these. Well, NC Digger, would I think, would call this a fat penny. It's an 1819. I don't have a fat penny yet. Now I do. Wow. That is so awesome, Nick. You rock, dude. I'm going to do a whole video on these, on these coins. Just because... I can't cover everything in this because there's more in here. Nick, this is way too much, brother. I will gladly accept it and return a proper sheath for you. What do we have here? Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Pure maple sugar from Canada. Okay, that's I'm gonna have fun with that. I'm gonna like that. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. I think my wife. Oh, that's heavy. I wasn't expecting anything heavy. <laughs> Pure maple syrup. I have never seen maple syrup in a can. <laughs> that is awesome. I love it. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm going to love that because I love the pure maple syrup on my pancakes. Oh, man. Let's see how far we got to dig here. The rest is just paper. Set the box aside, and I'm sure this is the knife. Very well wrapped, so as not to hurt anybody. Now, I've, I've never done a sheath for one of these, but I'm sure it's not going to be a difficult thing to do for me. I've done enough. That is a Mora spoon knife and these things are cool they're really really nice I like the handle on it that handle is really really nice fits good can really get in there and do some digging with that so that's gonna be cool Nick I'll have you a fantastic sheath for that and I'll get that done as soon as I can I got two holster three four holsters I got to get done first but <laughs> they're all in process so this will be next on the list um, give you a couple weeks and we'll have one done for you, buddy. Um, thank you so much for the gift. I will do another video on the coins because there's just too much here to show in this one. And this is just too awesome. Um, thank you so much. I've never had pure maple sugar before. So this is going to be very interesting to me. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm having maple syrup on my pancakes tomorrow. Um, everybody, stay safe. God bless. Look forward to a video on these coins. I'm going to have to do a little research because I'm not a coin expert at this point. I'll probably be an expert on these pretty soon. Hey, thanks for watching. Stay safe and God bless.